Once upon a time there was a woman. She cooked five pies. And when they came out of the oven, they were that overbaked the crusts were too hard to eat. So she says to her daughter, Daughter, put the pies on the shelf and leave them there. They can come again. She meant the crust would get soft. But the girl, she says to herself, Well, if they've come again, I'll eat them now. And she set to work and ate them all first and last. Well, at dinner the woman said, Go you and get one of them their pies. I dare say they have come again now. The girl went and she looked and there was nothing but the dishes. So back she came and says she, You can't if they ain't come, said the girl. But I can, says she. Go you and bring the best of them. Best or worst, says the girl, I've eaten them all. And you can't have one till that's come again. Well, the woman she was done. And she took her spinning to the door to spin. And as I spun this, she sank. My daughter has eaten five, five pies today. My daughter has eaten five, five pies today. The king was coming down the street and he heard her sing. But what she sang he couldn't hear, so he stopped and said, What was that you were singing, my good woman? A sham the woman changed the word. My daughter spun five, five skins today. My daughter spun five, five skins today. Dear me, said the king, I never heard of anyone that could do that. Then he said, Look you here, I want a wife and I will marry your daughter. But look you here, says he, eleven months out of the year she shall have all she likes to eat and all the she likes to get and all the company she likes to keep. But the last months of the year she'll have to spin five skeins every day and if she don't I shall kill her. All right says the woman. Well, so they were married. And for eleven months the girl had all she liked to eat and all the gowns she liked to get and all the company she liked to keep. The time passed and the king didn't say a word about the skeins. But the last day of the last month he took her to a secret room with a spinning wheel and a chair. And says he, now, my dear, here you will be shut in tomorrow with some victuals and some flags, and if you haven't spun five skins by the night, your head will go off. And away he went about his business. Well, she was that frightened. She'd always been such a godless girl that she didn't so much as know how to spin, and what was she to do tomorrow with no one to come night her to help her? She sat down on a stool in the kitchen and lo, how she did cry. However, all of a sudden she heard a sort of a knocking low down on the door. She upped and opened it. And what should she see but a small little black thing with a long tail that looked up at her right curious and that said, what are you are crying for? What's th that to you? says she. Never you mind, that's it. But tell me what you are a crying for. That won't to do me no good if I do, says she. You don't know that, that's it. And reared that stay round. Well, says she, that won't do no harm if that don't do no good. And she upped and thought about the spice and the skeins and everything. This is what I will do. The little black thing said, I will come to your window every morning and take the flags and bring skeins at night. What do you want for it? She asked. That looked out of the corner of that eyes and that said, I'll give you three glasses every night to guess my name and if you have guessed it before the month's up, you shall be mine. Well, she thought, she'd be sure to guess that name before the month was up. All right, sh says she, I agree. All right, 
that says and lo how that weird that tail well the next day her husband took her into the room and there was a flex and the day's food now there is a flex says he and if that ain't spun up this night of course you had and then he went out and locked the door he'd hardly gone when there was a knocking against the window she upped and she opened it and there sure enough was a little old thing sitting on the ledge where is the flag says he here it be says she and she gave it to him well come the evening knocking came again to the window she upped and she opened it and there was a little old thing with five skeins of flax on his arm here it be says he and he gave it to her now what's my name says he what is that bill says she no that ain't says he and he twirled his tail is that net says she no that ain't says he and he twirled his tail well is that mark says she no that ain't says he and he twirled his tail harder and away he flew well her husband came in he was happy i see i shan't have to kill you tonight my dear says he you have your food and your flags in the morning says he and away he goes well every day the flags and the food were brought and every day that the little black impet used to come morning and evenings and all the days the girl sat and thought of names but she never hit on the right one and as it got towards the end of the month, the impet began to look so mal maliceful and that twirled that tail faster and faster each time she gets a guess. Well, she felt that horrid, but she heard the king behind the door. In he came. And when he sees the five scans, he says, Well, my dear, says he, I don't see but what you have your skins ready tomorrow night as well and as i reckon i shan't have to kill you i'll have supper in here tonight so they brought supper and another stool for him and down the two sat. well he hadn't eaten but a morsel or so when he stops and begins to laugh what is it says she oh why said he i was out hunting today and i found a place in the wood i had never seen before and there was an old pit and there was an old chuck pit and i heard a kind of a sort of humming so i got off my hobby and i went right quite to the pit and i looked down well what should there be but the funniest little black thing you ever set eyes on and what was that doing but that had a little spinning wheel and that was spinning wonderful fast and twirling that tail and as that span that sung nimi nimi not my name's tom tit tot well when the girl heard this she felt as if she could have jumped out of her skin for joy but she didn't say a word Next day, that the little thing looked so maliceful when he came for the flax. And when night came, she heard that knocking against the window panes. She opened the window and that come right in on the ledge that was grinning from ear to ear. And oh, that tail was twirling round so fast. What's my name? That says as that gave her the skeins is that Solomon? she says pretending to be a fat no it isn't that said well is that the bed says sh she again no taint says the impet and then the lotted and twilled that that tail till you couldn't hardly see it take time woman that says next guess and you are mine 
and then stretched out that black hands at her. Well, she backed a step or two and she looked at it and then she laughed out and said she pointing her finger at it. Nimi Nimi not, your name's Tom Tit Tot. Well, when that hurt her, that gave an awful shriek and a way that flew into the dark and she never saw it anymore.